Oh, hey friends, how's it going? So I was just adjusting this tripod for the new video that I'm gonna be shooting right now. Speaking of tripods, if you're looking for a great budget friendly, easy to use and a really great built quality tripod, then this video is for you. I'm gonna be telling you all about this tripod, which is the newer two-in-one camera tripod monopod with rotatable center column, which might satisfy all your tripod needs. All right, let's get started. So I bought this tripod for $120 on Amazon. I think it's a steal because of the features that it has to offer. I'll leave the link in the description for the Amazon website for both US and Canada if you want to check this out. Okay, let's talk about the build quality of this tripod. This tripod is made up of aluminum alloy and you really feel the quality as soon as you take it out of the box. Not just this, it comes with the different extensions to give you a lot more flexibility. It also comes with a really good quality carrying case. All the knobs and the dials on this tripod feel really well built and they're high quality. They're smooth to use and they don't squeak or make any kind of noise when you're adjusting them. When you make the adjustments at the tripod head or the legs or literally anywhere on the tripod, it just stays there. The legs of the tripod feel really solid and the connection of the legs to the tripod head feels really robust and high quality. I really wish the tripod legs had the clips where you can just open open them and close them again instead of the dials but these works fine too it just takes a tad extra minute to set it up or tear it down the whole tripod is a combination of plastic and metal and rubber and none of them feel cheap in any way the rubber foots and the adjust dials for the legs are really well made as well also in the end of the video i'm going to share why i specifically bought this model despite newer has to offer a lot of other options at different price ranges and they're all really good okay so now we have established that the tripod's build quality is amazing let's talk about all the features that it has to offer for this i'm going to take you outside all right let's go okay let's break it down this tripod can extend all the way up to 75 inches which is actually way taller than me i like it because it gives me a lot of flexibility to adjust and take those top down shots if i want and when you fold it down, it just folds down to 24.4 inches, which is amazing as well, because it really makes it travel friendly. Not just this, it also has a load capacity of 12 kilograms, which means it can handle heavy cameras with ease. Despite all this, the tripod is not too heavy and it just comes under 4.5 pounds or 2 kgs. If that's not enough, it also has a hook at the bottom where you can hang your travel bag or any kind of sandbag, it gives extra strength and stability. So the next thing is the center column and the tripod head. The first thing is the center column can extend all the way and it can also come out. But if you don't want to take it out, after you have extended the center column all the way, you can also extend the tripod head as well. There is a knob which you can use to control the height of how much the tripod head you want out of the center column. And once you adjust it, it just stays there. Not just this, if you extend it all the way, it makes a 90 degree angle with the center column. You can adjust the tripod head by moving it to the other side or use the norm at the center column which allows you to rotate it 360 degrees to get those smooth panning shots. Also, you can use this setup to do a top down shot if you are showing a product or anything. And moving on from the center column to the tripod head, the tripod head also has a 360 degrees adjustment knob which comes in really handy as well. Also, it features a plate to connect the camera and a 360 degree ball head as well again the adjustments here are easy to make and it gives you a lot of freedom to take the shots that you want okay let's talk about the leg adjustments there are again a ton of leg adjustments that you can do first is the height adjustment it has a three height adjustment that you can do with these rotating knobs but that's normal right the second is the legs have these switches which can help you set it up really flat on the ground and these can be also used for taking the shots off really close up subjects and there are in total three adjustments for that if you want to get super low then you can simply unscrew the bottom part of the center bar and take it out and put it from the bottom Hey, we are back okay so even after all this it isn't enough for you there is one more thing one more thing as it is a two-in-one multifunctional tripod monopod we all saw what a tripod can do but a multifunctional monopod it means that one of the leg of the tripod can be detached to make it a monopod you can simply remove the tripod head and attach it to the monopod just like this. The monopod alone can extend to 56 inches. But if you think that is not enough for you, then you can extend it by removing the center column as I showed you before and attach it to your monopod. I mean, that is just amazing what a tripod can do. 
is just awesome. Let's talk about the use case scenarios of the monopod. I think monopod can really help you to stabilize the images if you're on the go and taking images. All that handheld shake can be removed by just putting the camera down on a monopod and just clicking pictures. It really helps to get those sharp, crisp looking images which is just always appreciated. The second is I also use it as my gorilla pod. Sometimes I just want to take a vlogging shot and I don't have a gorilla pod, so I just use the monopod leg to, you know, do the vlogging. There is another use case scenario that Newer has put up on their Amazon, which I think is really funny. Like if you're hiking somewhere and you're tired, you can just remove the leg and use it as an alpenstock. I mean, <laughs> makes sense. So now let's talk about why I specifically bought this model of the tripod. I bought this because it gives me a lot of flexibility to make YouTube videos as I like to make tech videos and I want to take those top down shots which looks really sweet. Also all those 360 degree movements help me to take smooth panning shots which I really like. But if your use case scenario is not the same then you can go for the cheaper one that are available on the Amazon website. Because the one that I have I got it for 120 Canadian dollars but right now on the Amazon Canada website it's 460. But if you're in US then you're in luck because on the US the regular price is 120 and there is a coupon available for $30 that you can save on this tripod right now. So go ahead buy it right now if you want. The link is in the description and you will not be disappointed. And I will also leave the links to the more affordable options that are offered by newer so make sure you check the description. Alright so if you like this tripod make sure you hit that like button and if you know any other tripods that offer the same flexibility let me know in the comment section below because I'm looking to buy a new one. Alright thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel because it really motivates me to make more videos for you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care